Yo, what's up? We're Triple Fingers from Czechia. We're making new album. You should check that out pretty soon. And you're watching Local Bank Smoke Out. Fuck yeah! yeah. We are all set. Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Reminiscent! Yeah, hell yeah! <laughs> yes! Dude, it is an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. Do me a quick favor. Properly introduce yourself. Plug and promote anything. Let us know whereabouts in the world you are. What's going on in your life? All the above. For sure. Um, so I'm Jay. I'm the vocalist of Reminiscence. Um, we're from Visalia, California, kind of like right near Fresno. Um, we just put out like some new music, so there's there's tons of stuff to honestly talk about. So I'm I'm ready for whatever questions you have for me. Dude, th this is a this is I feel like it's a long time coming, but it's it's honestly a a huge honor to talk to you. I've been a fan for a minute. Obviously, the new single Cloud Cloud uh, Chaser is, is doing is doing really well, and I feel like. I saw something about you uh, the other day at the grave acknowledged you for for a helmet or something you had on a video. Dude, it's so random. Like we, I went to go support my friend uh, Marty and his band Bone Crown, and um, his drummer is from Impending Doom, so he has already like a bunch of like friends and connections and whatnot. And so um, when we came to the show, like. We were like hanging out with Signs of the Swarm, you know. We were hanging out with um, Eddie from Suicide Silence. It was just like just so random. Like we were in Cupertino, and they were just coming out just to bang their heads with us. And um, to the grave was playing, and um, I, I'm such a huge fan, especially like just there's so many bands that could come out of Australia, but they stick out to me like like crazy, you mm -hmm. know. And so um, listening to for so long, I, I picked up a lot of like lyrics and some of their songs. And so when they came, I, I went front row and I'm just like screaming the lyrics with him. And after the show, we're all hanging out and we're, we're smoking outside. And he's like, you know, um, you know, you guys didn't, uh, tell me your names. And so my friend's like, oh, like I'm Jake. And then this guy's all, I'm Jonathan. And, and I'm like, I'm Jay. And he's like, oh, from Reminiscence. And I was like, wait, wait, wait. Like, so you didn't even say Reminiscence. You were just like. I'm Jay. I'm exactly, exactly. Wow. And I'm 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 screaming and like I'm fangirling hardcore just because I'm just like what? Like my mind's just blown. I'm just like how did how do you even know what my face looks like? Like what? How 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 did this even come about? And I didn't even ask him. I just kind of like really sly, just like let it. Oh yeah, that's my band. You know, like no big deal. You know, and and then um, later on he tells me that he's seen the video we posted where I'm wearing um, a bull mask and it's like a scarecrow bull mask and um, it's just I guess it's just not something people see often um, it's definitely was it was a new it was a new mask to um, spirit Halloween I think is like where the the origin of that mask like comes from um, but the crazy thing is like, to get that mask, it wasn't even my own. Like we, we played a Halloween show. We um, we got asked to play an encore song, and so um, we. <laughs> funny thing is, like we we actually went through all of our songs, and so we were just like, we don't have any more songs, but we'll play another one again, you know. And they're just like, yeah, you know. And so <laughs> we play the same song that we already played, but one of the fans hands me the bull mask, and I, I throw it on, and I just start screaming my lyrics. And um, one of the photographers we had, you know, he, he caught the whole thing. And so later on, it was just kind of like content to post. And I gave the mask back um, to the dude and he, he was just stoked that I wore it. And then a couple months later, he's like, you can have it, bro. Like this mask belongs to you. Like after all that, you know, <laughs> that, so that was like something that went on TikTok and like did some numbers. Major. Yeah, it, it was it wasn't even TikTok too. It was like on Instagram like that. I've posted that video multiple times and it's like in the millions right now, as far as like how many people have seen it. Damn, and um, son. even the, uh, I'm wearing shorts from this brand, uh, broken promises that I like a lot. And it's like this Junji Ito shorts. And, um, w one of the people who like owns it, his name's Jason promises. He's like in the comments, like 
It's just like, dude, those are my shorts. <laughs> that is wicked cool. I see you got dude. Lorna and and Spike Cult going on in the background right there. Do you do you recall? Okay. Let's let's go back a little bit. Way back. Okay. What is? Do you recall the artist and or album that made you want to pick up a microphone and just just start playing around with your voice a little bit? Oh man. Um... To be honest, I think it started, and he's probably like the, it's still to this day, probably like the hardest vocals to do, but it's uh, Mike Ronica from um, the Devil Wears Prada. Um, hey, John, what's your name? Like, I'd watch, I would watch that music video like over and over, and um, just the lows, the highs, like the singing, it was the everything. I was just obsessed, and I remember screaming that song to like with my mom in the in the driver's seat and i'm in the passenger seat i'm like mom like this might sound stupid but i want to i want to scream to this and she's like go for it you know and so like no mic i'm just screaming at the top of my lungs and she just she doesn't understand but she's just like do whatever you love <laughs> so you're just hitting with the blah 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 blah, blah. and she's just like mm, uh, that's pretty damn good son <laughs> yes. I, I, I just scream <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing Hell yeah. Uh, I, I have so many questions, but I know a lot of people are, are just fascinated by how excellent of a vocalist you are. Can you talk us through the process of it's time to go record with the producer. Here's what I do 15, 20 minutes, an hour before they hit record simultaneously before a show. And then if we're talking back to back to back to back nights of performing, how do you cool down and prepare for the next day? Okay. Um, so a lot of the times, um, like now, now I'm in a point where I have stuff at home to record so I can like kind of throw some of my ideas like out, but mostly in, it's just stuff in my head. Like, I'm just like, okay, like this would sound cool like this. Um, I don't, I don't necessarily know if it's a, if it's going to be a high or a low, but I at least can think of like the pattern that I want. And then, um, we normally record right now in, in Sacramento at a uh, mayhemness with this, um, one of our friends, his name is Bob. And um, we just work like really well together. And so I think it's like a two or three hour drive. So on the way there, like I'll practice uh, warming my voice up to like a whole bunch of bands that like I love. Um, for some reason to the Hellfire, like there's there's so much uh, vocals into the Hellfire that that helps me a lot. Because there's lows, highs, there's yells, you know, so it, it helps me kind of warm up my voice a bit before like I hit the studio. But there's no, there's then, no like remedies, teas, anything like that specifically. Vocal mist, no, nothing. No, not at all. Um, I used to kind of look for something like that, and then, um, but I've kind of, I've just kind of been doing it. Uh, well, I, I definitely drink a lot of Monster, and then I have like a fat jug of water, but no, no teas or anything like that. But it, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed to like trying it out and seeing um, how how it goes. But I, I can definitely feel like if I'm recording vocals probably like midway through the session like i can i can feel my voice like finally like okay like now you're warmed up and then so i'll sometimes even trek back to what i first did when i got there and i'm like all right let me redo this like that that doesn't sound like the warmed up version that i that i know i can do you know i totally get it uh chat saying new stuff with suicide silence is out yeah we did a. Uh, what is it like working with them what is like work with uh with chris well, no, 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 it, was, it wasn't like that. It's a, it's a cover that we did. Um, I, I, I did a unanswered um, Suicide Silence cover. Um, and when I posted it, um, I tagged Eddie. And, and we, we had just seen Eddie at that show that I was telling you about. But he was, he was there were so many people around him. And I, I know myself, I'm just like, man, like I get, I get social anxiety if there's like six conversations coming at me. And I, I want to like talk to everybody. But like, I'm like shutting this guy up and i'm like wait what did you say and then and then this person's like hey i love your family thank you what would you what were you saying and so i just didn't want to get in his business so we we released um an unanswered vocal cover it's me and the members from this band divisive from tennessee and um eddie uh commented on the video with like clapping hands and and i was like bro like Thank you for checking it out. And I also, you know, wish I said hi to you, but you were just like surrounded by people. And he was like, oh yeah, like I came out to see the bands and next time come say hi. And then he added me and I was like, what? <laughs> we, we have a connection. We've never had Garza on the show, but we have a connection to, to get Garza on the show. 
in the future, if we could plan this out months in advance, let's say January or February, if we hypothetically said yay, would you ever want to co-host that so we could go oh, yeah. back and forth asking Gars? We, that's that's the only person I think we could get on due to connections, but would you ever want to do yeah. something like that? 100%, 100%, yeah. That's That literally was, I was sitting on the couch with my best friend um, who's in, in that band Bone Crown, and um, I was like, bro, I can't wait till either you or me, but it's not even like which one, like either it's 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 either me or you first. But no matter what, we're getting on that podcast and we're going to tell him how like we just set out our dreams to make that come true. Like the only reason we did vocals is so we could sit in that chair and just be in the room. <laughs> I did this for you, bro. I did the this for you, man. I, I quit. <laughs> I love that. Now, you said you had a little bit of anxiety referring to multiple people talking to you. What 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 freaks you out in life? What what phobias do you have? Stuff that scares you. Height, spiders, social experiences. What what freaks you out? Um mainly the the um I would it's crazy cuz like I I um I kind of with my my vocals and my lyrics I I I almost come at you like fearless, but I am I'm, I'm I'm deathly afraid of like dying. Like that's, that's, that's what sucks is like, I feel like um, now more than ever, like I've, I, I feel like I'm, I'm just beginning to climb my peak and people um, close to me have like passed away um, just in the blink of an eye, you know, like with thinking that they had years and years to come for, for a sickness just to wipe them out in a couple of days. And it, and it scares the death, you know, it's, it, it's just, a, I, I don't want to, I don't want to die before I can, you know, reach my full potential and, and really like make my dreams come true. So anything that, that makes me feel like it's kind of, I'm, I'm playing with my life, like roller coasters um, on like, there's a, the stratosphere in Vegas. I've been on that. And it's like a, it's a, it's a drop. It just goes to the top and just drops. And that is, I've done it once and I've never do it again, but things like that, that put my life kind of in other people's hands, that, that scares the shit out of me. So no, no theme park roller coasters. You're, you're more I'll, there for the food. Oh no, no, I'll do, I'll do the roller coasters without a doubt, but like, just know that I'm screaming inside. Like I'm, <laughs> for sure. I, I'm going through it. And it, it's even roller coasters I've been on before that I'm just like, I know this drop is coming. I hate it every time, but I'm not going to let the person next to me not invite me to this next time because I got to keep coming. I got to live my life. How long How long has Reminiscence been a band for? Because I feel like in the last couple of months, a lot of people, people have been like, yo, them Reminiscence boys, that they're hot right now. They're hot right now. They're spreading. People need to know about them. A... Uh, how long is, have you guys been together for? And can you talk about how you guys formed? And then B, do you feel the heat from, by heat I mean like, it's getting hot, we're, 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 doing, we're doing something. You know what yeah. I mean? Like people are talking. Yeah, 100%. Um, so I would, uh, remission started in like 2014. And then um, we just kind of played like just, as many shows as we could basically like scramble we were like trying to do like fresno shows all the time like we, we didn't have um anything like in our minds that were like people want us to see us in other states so we're like we're just having fun like we're such big fans of this music and we're, we just want to do what all our friends are doing because i mean it's not like a huge scene but it's, it's definitely a big scene over here where like once I joined Reminitions, I was welcomed by like eight or nine bands with like four or five members and they're, they all want to be friends with you, you know, and you're, you're just like, you're just like, whoa, like I went from having like two friends to now I have like freaking 200, you know, and, and they all want to support my band and they want me to go and support their band. Um, so we've been, we've been doing it since 2014, but um, I think once, once COVID hit, um, things kind of changed just in 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 the music scene um, everywhere, but like in our genre, like as well. Um, once COVID happened, is when I downloaded TikTok for the first time, and that's um, I just started posting like my favorite breakdowns, and it, it it went from posting my favorite breakdowns of all time, like as I lay dying through struggle, and I'm I'm putting Parkway Drive, and I'm so I'm I'm putting my favorite stuff on there people are like they're like cool I, I dig it and then i start 
to like really miss just shows and just being like surrounded by people and we we all didn't know if we were ever going to have it again and so i started posting live videos from like warp tour um i have this video where tom barber comes on stage um and well he's it's not the first time he's come on stage but it's the first time he's come with chelsea grin um through the warp tour dates and so i got that on footage and it blew up on facebook and so i i threw it on tiktok and it did the same thing and just blew up and so i was like okay let me just keep doing this let me just keep uploading live music breakdowns um and then bands were still coming out with music so i was posting new music and it was just like wildfire uh, i found this plug plug this, your youtube ch- or your tiktok channel real quick i was on uh, breakdown king on tiktok and then i'm also breakdown king on uh, instagram as well um but it's it's it, it was one of those things where I could cleverly throw in my band whenever I wanted, and 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 it just blended in with my I love my it. normal content. Yeah, you just you kind of just slide in there. You're like, you know, these guys got some of the best breakdowns from Fresno, California. I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah. just... <laughs> funny stuff. Like I've I've put um one one that was really funny was uh, I put a uh, um, Jeremy McKinnon's new deathcore band. And and in the caption I put, I'm just kidding, but people were like really believing it um, just because the music video that I'm in, there's there's certain angles where we kind of like look alike. And so I played that off like really well. And, and, and then people, people were upset. Some people were like, I know this isn't a data member, but I'm glad I found you guys anyways. And I'm like, that was my goal. Like, Hell just, yeah, that's awesome. What is, you, know? <laughs> you said you grabbed some hot sauce. Yes, I actually have a couple. So I didn't. So I felt I felt this like put on the spot. You know, I'm like, man, I don't want to be just this white boy with his normal tapatio. You know, so I have that, and then I got some Taco Bell sauce, and then I got this one too. So it's just whatever you want. Bro. Okay, cool. Whatever you're feeling to do the <laughs> trivia though. Cool thing is you get to pick the trivia topic. Is there a movie or TV show? that you've seen more than anything. In my opinion, it's easier to pick a movie because I could pick any random episode of a TV show that has seven seasons, 20 episodes a season. A movie or a TV show that you've seen the most. If I look up trivia on this, there's no way I could stump you. Okay, okay. So you get to pick. Man, I'm digging my own grave here. Whether you get it right or wrong, I'm going to do some hot sauce. I've got some, uh, some chili ghost pepper sauce right here. I know it's slightly hard to see. I was supposed to come up with, with something custom. <laughs> no, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, I've had people bring like a little packet of mild sauce and just. <laughs> I, I, I regret it now, but I just saw Elisana like two days ago and they're actually selling their own hot sauce on their merch table. I saw it too. Were you... Wait, did you go to the whiskey show? No, no, no. Uh, here in Fresno. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I was at the whiskey show. I didn't see you. No, no, no. So, uh, so, but what, what's your, what's your pick for the movie or TV show? I'm sorry. Let's go with Night at the Roxbury. <laughs> wow. Okay, cool. Wow. <laughs> so many times. It's ridiculous. Let me look it up. Who, who is the perfect feature that costs too much money, but for this one time only, they're just going to wipe the slate. And this is a freebie just for you, Jay. What vocalists and or non-vocalists? is the best fit for reminiscence on a future single man i really want um i am jay kill i'm jay kills the dude that does like hip-hop and then like out of nowhere comes into like the death core mm-hmm. and i i just think me and him i think we would, we would feed off each other like really well with a really good song i i think that's a great answer i we recently discovered him maybe six seven months ago and i forget the song but it's like a bouncy hip hop track, and then the last forty five seconds it just goes ham at the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna try and stump you. Here we go. <laughs> Night at the Roxbury. Can you hear the sounds by the way when I'm playing? No. Okay, we need to change that because uh, I could tell based on your reactions you cannot hear the sounds <laughs> I'm playing. So. You can mouth Ignore what you see on the screen. Don't worry about that. That is not involved in what we're about to do. But now you should be able to hear the sound. Give me a hell yeah. There we go. Okay, okay. Here we go. This is your trivia. Night at the Roxbury. The very first words uttered, uttered in the entire movie 
after the song ends, the intro song, what are the very first two words? What? Oh my god. Um. Damn. I'm trying to even picture what the beginning is. <laughs> you said you've seen it the most. I know. That's crazy. I don't know. It is Cindy High. <laughs> Enjoy the hot sauce. I'm going to do I, some with you. It says that once the song ends, Cindy High is the first. Okay. Here we go. All right. Oof. And now they're awesome. both. Now they're both suffering a little bit. I need you to plug everything that you're allowed to tell me about in 2024. Sometimes stuff like this can't be can't be told. Promotion reasons, I get it. What are you allowed to tell me while we're suffering? Okay, so we we recently signed something. Mm. Not to not to a label, but we signed to something that's basically the next step to being on a label so we're, we're heading in the right direction and okay. uh let's see i would say so we're, we're, we're already done with the the full length that we're going to put out and we're basically almost done with the second one so it's wait, wait. It, so the first album's not even out yet the second album's almost already done yeah yeah but it's not not uh, as far as like being written, um, there's still like vocals and there's still like, um, you know, it makes and mastering, of course, but the whole girth of it's pretty much there, the whole skeleton. So now, now kind of comes time to like be creative and be fun. Um, cause I'm, I'm trying to think in my head, like, I don't want to just do what everyone else does. Like concept albums always are really cool to me. So I, I'm, I'm thinking of doing something like that. Um, but that way I can start out with a whole bunch of empty songs and I can, I can kind of build a story. Is the, is the album on hold for shopping reasons? No. Um, so we recently just, um, signed some stuff, uh, like a few days ago, but we already kind of had a plan beforehand of like, we, we didn't want to drop the whole full length down because I didn't, feel like a lot of people have the time to listen to a full length these days i wanted them to be able to digest at least like five or six of the songs and then as soon as they want more those five and six other ones are already ready to go and they don't have to kind of put them near each other and be like oh these five are better than these five on the full length um they could just take it as it is by themselves but i found a way to uh make that the artwork piece together into one rectangle picture so once you pick up the full, uh, like the physical copy, or if we do a flag, um, if you're into us now and you catch us during part one, you know, you'll be able to get like the flag and the physical. But if you catch us during part two, like you may not be able to connect the pieces. So I wanted to do something kind of like fun like that. That does sound fun. I do have a really important question. It could be the most important question I've asked you this entire interview. And it is as, is as follows. In Night of the Roxbury. How much is the speeding ticket that Steve gets? Oh my God, these questions. Oh my God. How much is the speeding ticket? Jesus Christ. I don't know. That's another, that's a really good question. I'm going to go mule sauce. Uh, but I guess that's a stump for sure. The answer is eighty dollars is a speeding ticket. Eighty dollars. <laughs> Cheers. Jay, unfortunately we gotta wrap it up. If it's okay with you, I'm gonna throw this on YouTube tomorrow. This has been a blast. Please tell us something that we didn't cross on today. We didn't we didn't talk about something that we need to know it can be about you, about the band, anything plugs, anything. For sure. Um so we're going to be playing a string of shows with a band called Titan in January. Oh, hell yeah. Um, the Chain Reaction. We're playing um, Old Ironsides in Sacramento. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up one second. Hold up. What, what day is the January show? Uh, it's on my phone. Bust it out. Let me write this down. 
I think I might be moving the first week of January, but if it's anything after that, I'm going to try and attend this one. Yes. Okay. Let's see shows. There we go. So it's going to be... You're frozen on our end. For some reason, when you vertical, it froze you. There you go. Oh. You're good. Oh, I can't even see me now. Um, January 7th. So the Sunday. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to write down chain reaction question mark. I'll just put that for now. Oh, here we go. I'm going to do my best to come to that one. You said Titan, yeah. to you and Titan, and do you have the rest of the lineup? Yeah. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I, we can see you too. But if you oh. flip, if you flip back, it'll go back to full screen. Oh. Is it? Oh, crap. There we go. Better? Nah, you're frozen on my end. But I can hear you. Okay, okay. Let me see where. The, oh man, this is nowhere near where I'm supposed to be. It's alright. Nobody uses Teams. I don't know why we picked it so long ago. Everyone's like, "Why the f do you guys use Microsoft Teams? Everybody uses Zoom." We'll, prob we'll probably switch in the future. It it bleeps your cuss words like for you. Yeah, it automatically. If I if I'm like, "Holy sh," it just does it. No, I'm just playing. I'm hitting a button. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a, a Go XLR where I can I can talk like this. I can do all kinds of like weird things as I with it, but um, it's one of the benefits is I, I have two kids. I have a seven year old and a year and a half uh, old, both boys, and I from doing uh, so many interviews and and being someone that does cuss prior to being a content creator, it, it helps me practice not cursing in front of them if i think about i'm about to curse and i go it's like okay. a, it's like a brain thing i don't know does that make I mean, sense yeah <laughs> <laughs> well dude uh please plug uh all channels that everybody can follow reminiscence one time for me and uh we'll send it out with a hell yeah yeah for sure bro so um you can follow us on instagram on reminiscence ca and then we're on Facebook under Reminitions as well. And then um, technically the Reminitions TikTok is like my own TikTok. So you can follow um, Breakdown King on TikTok and, and I'll post a lot of like Reminitions stuff on there as well. Breakdown King, Reminitions CA. I love it. Jay, this has been a pleasure, man. Uh, I how, One last thing. If someone yeah. wants to pay you for your services, they, they need a feature, hundreds of yeah. dollars, whatever. I don't know the case. Should they go those routes, or is there a specific avenue, maybe something involved in the recent signing? Should they wait on that, or how how should they get a hold of you to to pay you for a feature? Yeah, they they can hit me up on the band page, or they can go on my personal page on Instagram. Um, I'm Jay Muller on Facebook, M U L L E R. You can um, add me on there as well. Um, I'm always checking my messages too, so. As soon as I'm, I'm doing like three of them at this very moment, but as soon as I, I'm freed up from those, I'm down to take on some more. Let's go. Jay, a reminiscence, everybody! Yeah, hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dude. I'm going to tell you get a bunch of stuff tomorrow morning. Enjoy the rest of your evening. It's been a pleasure, for real. Hi, what's up, sir? Welcome to the local band Smokeout.